Chers auditeurs, Dear listeners, bonjour. Welcome to Comme d'Archi Podcast Season 5. Saison 5, dans le monde fascinant des architectes. And in the architectural projects. Je suis Anne-Charlotte de Ponte, passionnée d'architecture et docteur des universités en histoire de l'archi. I am one of the spokespersons of Anne-Charlotte, who is a PhD in architecture history. Merci. Thank you. D'être avec moi aujourd'hui. To be with us today. Et And maintenant. Now. Lundi en français, place au talent. And Wednesday, let's talk projects. In English, of course. Bienvenue dans Comme d'Archi. Hello, everyone. Hello, Cyril Bordier. Hello, Anne Charlotte. Thank you for being with us today. Welcome. You are architect. In two or three sentences, could you introduce us to your architectural practice? Of course. I've been an architect graduate from Monument in 1997, but due to my disability, I had to finally go back to my thesis, General Architecture, which are airports. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's a big job, and uh, we made a lot of uh, project abroad, mostly abroad, but some in Paris as well, at um, the major... Conceptors Company, Aéroport de Paris, which is ADPI. Okay. So, now can you tell us about your main project, actually? Well, uh, actually, there's, uh, we, I'm back to, uh, as I came out uh, from the Historical Monument School, I had my uh, major The 17th century was my major part of work, especially the castle of uh, Volvicomte next to Paris, uh, made by an architect who is called Louis Levaux. Yes, you are the specialist well, of Volvicomte. Yes. Yeah, that's what it said. I'm very, I'm very touched by that. Anyway, and this architect uh, will be called by the Sun King Louis XIV to design Versailles, after he designed a part of Le Louvre, and so he was the first architect for the king. And uh, what is funny is uh, when uh, in the Academy of uh, Architecture, there have been uh, there was a celebration for his uh, I don't remember probably uh, 300 years uh, death, which is 11 October, which will be uh, very soon. The perpetual uh, secretary said, if Louis Levaux live today, he will design airports. <laughs> so that came to my mind. I said, well, that, that's perfect because I don't feel being Louis Levaux, but these are my two, my two uh, favorite job. I mean, the work of Louis Levaux, this period of, of Paris, and of course airport because it's uh, the first, uh, peaceful dream, you know, and traveling on airplanes. And as I couldn't be a pilot when I was 10 years old, I wanted to be a pilot, but it wasn't a good idea because I was very creative. So I followed the idea of my dad. He said, you should create something, not a pilot doesn't fit you at all. So I went, I went to architecture because uh, I love building things. And in fact, the airport is a link between my the love I have for buildings and the world of uh, airliners. Mm -hmm. So could you tell us more about your drawings? Yes, of course. Uh, very young I was drawing because my mum uh, made me some games that I had to guess what was under uh, a sheet, how many object. So it started with uh, five and then it finished by 27. So I, I teach uh, visual memory which helped me a lot to make sketches in the street. And uh, she was, uh, she was, let me go in Venice streets the whole afternoon and uh, uh, allowed to go back to the hotel only if I have made five drawings by my own and find my way to go back through those little streets. It was fantastic memories. So I've, I've, every time I travel, I have sketchbooks. Or I do those uh, with a ball pen, I don't use uh, rubber because rubber means you don't have time to, you didn't observe well. So you don't make a mistake. So you, you erase well, uh, uh, with a ball pen and beak. You just 
you just draw or whatever, it's a little mistake, but you go through it in one shot. And then after, with a monument school, I learned how to make those huge drawings in watercolors, ink, whatever, and uh, like the 19th century, Violet Duke and all those time. And it's a fantastic piece of work, several months, but I, I don't care. There, I draw all the monuments that I fell in love with, or they shocked me. They could be the opera of Sydney, or it could be uh, whatever, the, the one castle in Portugal. As soon as I tack, flash in my eye, this one, and then I remember it, you know. But I, also, I use my sketchbook and I say, hey, I'm a, oh, I remember this temple. I, I've done it, and, and I want to do it again. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's a part of... There's a, such a, a communication between the building and myself. Mm -hmm. Drawings for you, it's an history of travel. Indeed, it is. That's what I would suggest to students in architecture, is to travel, to go and see the world, the technique, the materials, the purpose of the building, what's their answer to this problem or this question. How is their heritage? Uh, I'm sure that in uh, Cambodia, the heritage of building uh, whatever they want is not the same that in Argentina. First, the material, and second, the culture. So in one vision of a building, you understand the heritage of everything, the heritage, the local material, and uh, how the people work. Look, the, look the, the, uh, the English asked the French to come to England to build Canterbury Cathedral. They didn't know how to build a cathedral, so the French came with French stone. There was nothing there. So they'd, at this time, we would say, why do they do something? Like it's nothing to do with the local thing. It's interesting uh -huh. to see okay. if you brought it back to that period, time. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. So 100 countries listen to us. So Hello, everyone. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for listening. And a last word for students, perhaps, all over the world. Yes, of course. You're going to practice the most beautiful language in the world because drawing, whatever computers or handmade, it's a language that everybody can understand. And behind this language, there is a dream because or you brought with you uh, drawings from a travel. You have seen something at the other side of the planet or to the next uh, city you went. Or you show them a project and they imagine them getting inside and with a computer you can have create a film and imagine the things. But uh, anyway, the drawing is a machine to dream. It's a beautiful last word. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you to Cyril. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you. and Charlotte and everyone. Bye bye everyone and see you next Wednesday for a new Kamdarchi in English. Take care of yourself. Bye. That's, goodbye. Thank you for listening. Thanks to Julien Robourg, sound engineer, who is collaborating with us today. Don't forget to tune in to our previews on Instagram at Comdarchi Podcast. If you enjoy this podcast, don't hesitate to promote it by giving it five stars and a little comment on Apple Podcast or on your favorite podcast platform. And above all, subscribe to listen to all of our episodes for free. See you soon, and until then, take care of yourself.